Oh. Oh. Mother? Oh, my arm. Oh, my God. Oh. I thought it was him. I thought I was dead. Grab me. You had to grab me. It wasn't a grab. It was a hug. But never mind that. Who did you think I was? And why would you be dead? How about why are you even here? Charming look, by the way. I'm doing you a favor, by the way. Bianca went to Paris. She left your valuable real estate unprotected. So here I am. You're welcome. You're broke. Again. You're very unattractive when you get aggressive. Oh, and you're all charm and glamour. Scrape off that uh, goo and tell me how you tapped out this time. Your boy toy needed peck implants? It's okay. You make fun of me. I'm trying to rebuild my life. You mean build a whole new spring wardrobe? Greenlee, I'm dealing with a lot of overwhelming obstacles these days. You used all the money I gave you and now you want to sponge some more? We're a family. And you're leaving. Now haul your spring wardrobe out of here. You would let this lovely place go to waste just to spite me. It won't be wasted. It'll be used by me. How? You're having an affair. Oh, you just can't help it. Your mind just goes zoom straight to cheap sex. Well, then what? Ryan dumped you, didn't he? I always knew it was a matter of time. No, he didn't dump me. We're fine. Mm. We're not fine, fine, but we're... We're having a problem. And we're handling it. Yes, you're having a problem, all right. You know, giving up Cambius was idiotic, but it's not irreversible. You're a clever girl, and you can get it back. Oh my God, Mother, you don't get it. It's not always about money. Oh, I can see you're upset, so why don't you let me help you? Fine. Start packing. I'm not going anywhere while my daughter needs me. Mother? Not to you, Telly. Fine. We know who shot Ryan and who poisoned me. Who? Who did this to you? Ryan's brother. It's horrible. Predictable, but horrible. Because brothers poison each other's wives all the time. Brothers from a certain social class, yes. If I translate that, I might have to slap you. Greenlee, you know I've always had concerns about Ryan's blue-collar background. Which is why you practically pit me out to him. Sleep with him, Greenlee. Go get your man. Well, you were clearly in love. I wanted you to be happy. You wanted me wealthier. Well, it's over now, and it's time to move on. Have you ever known a love affair that lasted? Hearts and flowers forever? The only thing a woman can do is enjoy the love while it lasts, and then when it ends, she has to protect herself, financially speaking. Someone wants us dead, and you're worried about my trust fund? Alive, alone, and penniless is no fun. Trust me, I know. So I'm better off dead, as long as my trust fund goes to you? I don't want you dead. I want you happy and wealthy while you're young enough to still find another husband. I have a husband. Yeah, with a set of crazy in-laws. Who knows what they're going to do to hurt you next? No. Brayden will never hurt me or anyone else again. So now you know how to tell the future. No, I know my husband. He's closing in on Brayden as we speak. Out. I'm not going to leave while you're in danger. Mother, I was poisoned into insanity months ago. You stick around? I'll go wacko the natural way. You traitor. You let your brother poison my daughter and toy with her mind. Were you in on it? Did you hold the glass while he stirred in the crazy powder? What is she doing here? You wanted her insane so you could stick her in an asylum and control her estate. Mother, that's you, enough. Shut you up. You drove a wedge between me and Greenlee so you wouldn't want anybody to know. Well, I know, and I'm not going to let you hurt her again. Just to think that I advise my daughter to reel you in. Yeah, thank you for that, by the way. No, Greenlee, out. no, no, out. you need my help. I'm not going to let him do that. No. That was a very rude thing to do. Sorry. But you knew she was my mother when you married me. True enough. What happened? Well, it's kind of a long story, but it was pretty much a blowout. Well, did you see Brayden at all? No, he's too good. Which means he's dangerous. You won't give up. You're going to try again. Well, he hurt you, and he's still out there, so. Well, this time you'll have a better plan and lots of backup. Oh, my God. You're going to go after Brayden alone.
brain really knows how to crank up the creep factor. You betrayed me. How did Jonathan take it? He was freaked out. He wanted to fix everything himself. Because he's been such a big help so far. There's no point in asking why this is happening, right? It just is. Okay, if you want to lay into me, if you want to let off some steam, please go. Let it out. You have to do it alone. That's how it has to be. Is this the calm before the storm? No, this is me. Really, really, really trying to be grown up here. Don't get me wrong, I want you here, safe. Or in France, or Italy, or anywhere where this doesn't exist, but surprise. This isn't about what I want. Who are you, and what have you done with my wife? <laughs> well, believe it or not, you have my mother to thank. I don't want to be her, selfish and self-centered. You deserve better than that. I just want you, Greenlee. That's all I ever want. This is me, inside, begging you not to take this risk. But that's just a part of me. The other part of me knows that you're a brave, strong, good man. And you can't let your brother do this to us and to himself. You have to stop him, no matter what it takes, no matter. I love you for your courage, Ryan. Go find Brayden. Find him and stop him. Thank you for getting it. Mm -hmm. I love and support you with all my heart. I love you. It's part of my master plan, actually. A selfish bid to get what I want. Oh, really? And so am I part of this master plan? Oh, you have a starring role. You and me, together always, we grow older and more fabulous every year. We have a big house, big dog, bunch of kids. You've been like little puppies in the family room. So now you, you this, this soul of understanding. Oh, you may owe, well owe me for the rest of your natural life. And I will make you pay up. You are going to owe me, and you're going to make every wish a reality, or else. You know, this is such a relief, because the whole, like, self-sacrifice thing was kind of freaking me out a little mm -hmm. bit. The sweet green is nice, but... Oh, you don't want to take her to St. Bart's and do naughty things to her. Write that down on the list. St. Bart's is what you owe me, too. Hello, topless beach. <laughs> do what you have to do. Come back to me. Yes, ma'am. Do you know how mad I'll be if you get yourself killed? I'll always come back to you, Greenlee. Always. Goodbye, Jonathan. Ryan's dead.